So two other therapies that came out in 2020 is olaparib and rucaparib, and those are PARP inhibitors. So for the audience, can you explain what a PARP inhibitor is and also how we will see these drugs um, and what would they, we will see them do in prostate cancer? As uh, the world of genetics has improved over the last few years, it's been found that men who have a specific mutation called BRCA um, will respond to medicines that were originally FDA approved to treat women with ovarian cancer and breast cancer. Um, people hear about Angelina Jolie's deciding to have uh, bilateral mastectomies because she had the BRCA mutation. When people have the BRCA mutation and they're female, their incidence of uh, breast cancer is like over 50% lifetime. It's not the same thing with men, although when men have the BRCA mutation, it uh, does lead to a higher incidence of prostate cancer, and it also leads to somewhat more aggressive prostate cancers. Uh, the good news is that in men that have advanced prostate cancer and who have this mutation, uh, they will respond over half the time to medicines like olaparib and rucaparib. These medicines are sort of like oral chemotherapy. They can cause a little anemia, some fatigue, uh, low blood counts, and uh, uh, but it's a, it's a relatively mild agent compared to more standard chemotherapies, and it's certainly effective. So the bottom line is that men who have um, recurrent prostate cancer need to get genetic testing with something like Garden 360 or Foundation One, and this is just a blood test. And if they do have this mutation, it occurs in about 10% of men with advanced disease, uh, then they uh, become candidates for these medicines. So it's another arrow in the quiver that can help keep the disease in check. So for men with BRCA mutations, can PARP inhibitors be used to replace um, cytotoxic chemotherapy or hormone therapy, or would it be used in combination? Uh, it could be a substitute for taxotere. Uh, it would probably be used in addition to hormone treatment. Uh, the Men that are in these categories are almost always taking Lupron or Eligard or something of that nature, and uh, then these other treatments are piggybacked on top of it. So Taxotere, um, Olaparib, Rucaparib, uh, Zofigo, Provenge, these things are usually added on top of the uh, already existing hormone blockade treatment. Are there any clinical trials or current evidence showing that these types of treatments could be used in men without the BRCA mutation, and would it be effective? Uh, there have been some preliminary research, and it, at this time, doesn't look like these agents are going to be very effective in men that don't have these mutations. Now, there are other uh, mutations that it does have some activity, the one's called ATM, and there's a few others I can't remember off the top of my head, but the l most frequent mutation for which it's effective is the BRCA. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like more information, you can visit our website at pcri.org. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We come out with new prostate cancer videos every week.